Cheryl worked at St. Anthony for over 26 years, and, and during that time, uh, she was a nurse, she was an educator, she was a caregiver. She loved to teach. She recently was teaching a nursing aid course for DMAC, but she also taught BCLS, ACLS, trauma, hazmat training. She trained EMS personnel. Something special about Cheryl when she left work is she never quit working. It was interesting if you talk to her friends, neighbors, neighborhood kids, anybody got hurt, anybody needed help, Cheryl just was always ready, willing, and uh, you know, she was a nurse 24 hours a day. She was there to help people. She was there to care for people. You know, the community has had such a loss with Cheryl, Cheryl's death, and, and it just, just um, shows us again how everybody knew Cheryl. Hundreds of people immediately talked about their relationship with her, and it was, it was just so spontaneous. She, she was really part of people's lives. Uh, they wanted to express that. They also uh, wanted to express their loss. Cheryl was always there, and Cheryl was, to me, like a modern-day Florence Nightingale. We had a uh, patient in the emergency room that had cardiac problems, and, and uh, the person needed to be transferred to a tertiary center. Immediately, uh, Cheryl volunteered that she'd go along, she'd help, she'd be part of it. So uh, she went uh, in the ambulance with, with the patient. Uh, there were also two other paramedics in the ambulance. They were driving to uh, Des Moines in the ambulance and uh, there was a truck uh, on the road that attempted to get out of the way of the ambulance, had a tragic accident. They ran into the truck. Cheryl was uh, at that time back with the patient in the back of the ambulance. Uh, Cheryl and the patient didn't survive, and uh, it, it was just instantaneous loss. I, I remember uh, <clears throat> I was up in um, an education program upstairs at the hospital, and somebody came and said, there's been an accident with an ambulance. So I immediately ran downstairs, uh, just wanted to be with staff, make sure what, what was going on, and. Uh, I got a call from the highway patrol and uh, they told me uh, two of the people in the ambulance uh, had died. And uh, at, at that moment I just said, oh, not Cheryl. For the Carroll community, for her parents, her husband, all of her friends, her, all of her family, um, she'll never be replaced. Um, she's a hero in everybody's mind. And, you know, as the back of my shirt said, um, gone but not forgotten, and that's very true about Cheryl. She was just a wonderful person to be around.